Walking with Lemurs tour is an opportunity to take guests out into our natural habitat enclosures, which are regions of the forest where lemurs are running free out in the wild. They range anywhere from an acre and a half up to about 13 acres. And um, we have nine different natural habitat enclosures total. And we're sitting on about 80 acres of the Duke Forest. The free ranging program is very unique. We are one of the few facilities in the world that has a program like this. And it's a lot better for the lemurs to be able to be out in the forest and exhibit more natural behavior instead of being in smaller enclosures or even in buildings. So when we go out into the forest with a, a tour group, then there's no barriers. The lemurs can come right up to us. They can. Um, but it's just a really neat opportunity to see lemurs up close and also to watch their natural behavior. Wild behavior is very different from captive behavior and we're really interested in what their natural behavior would be in the wild. There are two different lemur species in this enclosure. One is the ring-tailed lemurs, which are probably the most famous of all the lemur species. And then we will also see a male-female pair of red-fronted brown lemurs, which are not as well known. Now, as we're going out onto the tour, you will notice that the technician who's going to be leading us is actually going to be making an auditory cue all of the lemurs that go out into the forest are trained to a specific sound and when they hear that they know that they're supposed to come and that they're going to be rewarded with food. So that is one reason why we take the tours out at this particular time. The walking tours are always at 1030 in the morning because it is, because it is feeding time. So you are guaranteed up close visibility with the lemurs. And um, as we're going out, it will be common for the lemurs to be walking with us, maybe in a line, maybe getting right under feet. Um, so it'll be really, really close to the lemurs. So whenever males need to settle any kind of dispute or try to show off and show who's more manly, they'll have these stink fights. So they'll pull their tail around the front and with those wrist glands that are on their arms, they'll take the glands and rub it up and down their tail and get it really, really smelly. <laughs> and their, their ears will kind of go back and they'll make this real high pitched noise and then they'll pull their tail over their head and they'll fling the scent in each other's faces back and forth. <laughs> 